This video covers how to connect an external monitor or recorder to the S-series cameras. It's important to note that there will be a future firmware update for the S1 that's going to add additional features like 10-bit video. So we'll do another video later on to show you how to take advantage of those additional features. Without further ado, let's go ahead and cover how to use an external monitor recorder with the S-series cameras. So to begin, you'll need to connect this device here that ships in the box with your S-series camera. This is designed to help protect your HDMI cable and connect it so it won't come out accidentally during production. You simply loop it around some points in the back to keep it secure. Plug your HDMI cable into the camera, then plug the other end of the HDMI cable into your recorder, and you'll begin to get an output on your monitor. Something that's important to note right now is that you have a level gauge and all of this information on the screen that's being output over the HDMI and being overlaid on the recorder which means if I record this, that's all going to end up in my video file. To get rid of that information, go into the camera's menu, select the movie camera tab. We want to go to the option that looks like the back of the camera. It's called monitor display, and you'll see an option that says HDMI record output. Once there, you have an option for info display. Info display is all the information we see on the monitor right here. Simply turn that off and you can see now all of the overlay information is gone and we have what's called a clean HDMI output for recording. Or it's what we call almost clean. You see, if you manually focus your lens, you're gonna get this magnification box. And when that magnification box pops up, this is to help you to focus. That's gonna end up also being output and get embedded in the video file. So let's teach you how to turn that off. We need to go to the cog or gear menu from there, we need to go to Manual Focus Assist, which is the second option at the top called Focus and Shutter 1. Manual Focus Assist, where it says Focus Ring, simply turn this off. And now as I turn the Focus Ring, you can see the magnification box no longer appears. But what if you want to be able to use the magnification box when you're not recording, and then when you hit record, not have to worry about it? Go into the Manual Focus Assist option again, Simply go to press joystick, turn this on. So now when I turn the ring, it won't accidentally pop that box up. Now, whenever I press the joystick, that'll turn our magnification box on, and then it'll turn it back off again. And that's how you use an S-series camera with an external monitor or recorder.